there, folks. Chris Waters here to talk more Watch Dogs 2 with Jonathan Roland, the creative director on the title. And Jonathan, we are talking about online play, all the ways that Watch Dogs 2 players are going to connect to other players, compete against other players, and cooperate with other players, because yeah. there's a lot going on. Oh yeah, like we wanted to have a bit more positive stuff going on, so now you can cross other players just naturally, and they're not going to be like evil right off the bat, so you can invite them, get into co-op on the press of a button, and then do mission together, enjoying the depth of hacking together, combining ideas. And that's just you walking along the street, and all of a sudden, you know, someone drives up because they happen to be in the same area in their game, and the servers sort of overlap their games a little bit, Yeah. and mm. then if they invite and accept, boom. They're exactly. together in a yeah. co-op game. Yeah, sometimes it's even more dynamic than that. Like, uh, you can cross someone who's already doing something, and you can just join in. So, like, you could see an epic car chase just pass in front of you, and suddenly you're like, neutralize, I'm jumping in. I want to get in on that. It. And then you're like, you're done, <laughs> like, and it's happening. So, it's pretty That's cool. That's really neat. Yeah. Now, let's talk about something that's a little less cooperative and a little yeah. more competitive. Mm -hmm. Bounty mode. You guys are showing that off right about now, and this is really one where you you sort of actively choose to engage in it, and you're you're hunting other players, yep. and you're trying to escape. Yeah, it's pretty much a natural extension of the the cop mode, if you want. Like when you do crimes, cops come on you, and then it escalates if you do more crimes. Mm -hmm. But when we started the project, we, we said, what if, what if you know, instead of escalating with more AI and some point, we could just shoehorn some players in and just and dynamically really create escalate the PvP it up in that mode. Yeah, yeah, exactly. So uh, it can happen just like that. Like you have cops on you and suddenly you receive a message, oh, bounty have joined the show. And then it starts moving around and you, need, you have to deal with it. Or you can provoke the mode or get an invitation to do mm -hmm. it. So what's interesting with that is you end up either alone against three players plus the cops on your ass, which gets pretty intense. Yeah, I'd imagine so. Or you so. could be in co-op already. You encountered another player and you're in co-op and then suddenly you get invaded and then you're two versus two plus the cops on you. So you have one target and one protector. What's cool with that mode is that you're, you're kind of forced to embrace the chaos. There's a lot of action going on and depending on what the victim decides to do, it becomes a different experience. It's extremely dynamic and the more you got like tools and uh, hacking to do so, the better the chaos gets. Fun is all well and good, but yeah. let's talk about rewards. What are players getting out of these yeah. bounties if they succeed or if they, you know, if they escape or if they take down the bounty? Yeah. Any online mode, actually, you get followers to progress in your game. So mm -hmm. anything you do in Watch Dogs 2 helps you to progress and get more skills. So all the online modes are no exception to that. Like you can do one little thing, it takes two minutes, continue your game, and you will never spend time like without progressing. Mm -hmm. Then we have a leaderboard mode that creates seasons over a certain amount of period of time, and you can get like special reward each time that we reboot those seasons. So there's some pretty interesting things coming up for that. That's bounty mode. Uh, yeah. Now let's talk a little bit about hacker invasion. Yes, we're keeping the mode like it was a favorite in the first game, and now we're just balancing things out a bit more, like mm -hmm. with the net hack where you can see through walls and understand better your position. Uh, with the drones, like, it gives more tool to the victim and it balances things out a bit. It's and all the tools you're talking about are the same tools that you're using to do all your missions and all your other stuff in the course of the campaign yep. and stuff like that. Exactly, and what I like about it is that it gives another incentive to unlock certain skills. So you might not be that interested in dropping bombs with the flying drone, for example. Uh, until you have an invader on the Golden Gate Bridge over you with no way to reach him, and you're like, oh my god, and he's dropping bomb at my ass, and I'm like, I cannot do anything, I have nothing to counter that. And then you go into your, your research tree, and you're like, I want these. Now I know what their purpose are. So it gives more incentives to embrace all the dynamics of the game at your own pace. Bounty mode, hacker invasion, and of course that seamless co-op connection all in Watch Dogs 2. Jonathan, it's looking pretty exciting. I am pretty excited. Hopefully the players will be as well. All right. Uh, Watch Dogs 2 is coming out when and on what system? It's coming on November 15 on PS4, PC, and Xbox. Check it out then, folks. Thanks for watching.